going to talk about the fillet command. The fillet command is in two different areas. The fillet command is in the feature toolbar and it's also located here in the sketch toolbar. Um, I'm going to show you the feature toolbar fillet command because I've got some features and when we talk about features we're really talking about um, things that are created and become um, parametric or, or a 3D entity. So um, for this particular part um, I'm going to type in actually let's go a quarter okay so I can select on that and see what the radius is going to look like which is decent and I can either type it in or I can continue to go up and that goes up by the hundred thousandths or point one zero zero so I'm gonna just uh, I like the half inch So now that it's that it's in there, I can select whatever I want and go into the isometric view. I'm just going to rotate that and make sure it doesn't interfere with the circles with our holes that are cut. So I'm going to back it down because we definitely don't want that interfering. And select OK. Go in our isometric view and now we notice that we've got the fillet command so in the feature toolbar you now see um, a feature called fillet and just to do a little review over here on the feature toolbar um, whenever you have the plus sign that you've seen in many different softwares you've got um, you've got something in there and that's the sketch so over here on your model the sketch is highlighted but when you move off it it disappears so you can right click and say show because sometimes you want to use that sketch let's go into the uh, normal view of this guy so sometimes you want to double you want to select that sketch and use that in a different in a different sketch I'll show you that later on down the road we're going to finish up here with the uh, with the fillet command. First we're going to hit save and then we're going to hide the sketch command. For me, I personally only like to see the sketches in other features when I absolutely need to. So for that I shut them off. So one of the last things we're going to do with the fillet command is we're going to select that guy. We're going to dial him down. 50 thousandths <coughs> and then we're going to select this face here and now you can see how everything um, propagates the entire perimeter of this bracket is selected and that's um, in tangent propagation so if we select on that that's going to select everything that the software feels is related to that selection. Um, you can do a partial preview, which is, you know, uh, in my opinion, not not really useful. So, um, with that, we can select OK, and you can see this bracket is starting to take shape. Add one more fillet to it, maybe two. We can select that face and select this face and click OK. Sometimes you don't want to select the face, you just want an edge. Um, depending on how it's going to be manufactured, if it's uh, sheet metal, you just want to call out and break the edges so somebody doesn't get cut. Um, if it's plastic, you surely want to add um, radiuses. But that's going to conclude our fillet command.